everybody! Hi! We are Game Devs Play Games, and today we are playing Pac-Man, but not just any Pac-Man. No! No, today we are playing a Pac-Man horror game. Horror! <laughs> Dang it! As the uh, description of the game goes... Oops, turned off my mouse. As the description of the game goes, this is a ROM of apparently damaged game board found locked in a safe in the back of an old arcade. Gameplay appears relatively consistent with the classic Pac-Man. Primary differences are, one, player cannot see what Pac-Man cannot see. Two, ghost behaviors are dot 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 unique. And three, players who finish the original arcade game board suffer severe psychological and occasionally physiological trauma, up to and including death of the subject. Rum's effect is significantly reduced. Yup. So, here we go. Uh, we actually tried recording this earlier, and, uh, well, Kujo had the unfortunate circumstance to be the first one playing, and, uh, we well, lost all the footage. Yeah. Well, now that, unfor it's unfortunate that we lost it initially, but now we can actually have a conversation. Yeah, now we can actually talk a bit more about the design of it, which, you know, in my mind is totally fine. Um, I did play this ahead of time, and I, I've beaten it. Um, so, I guess we'll we'll kind of talk about it yeah. either way. Kujo is probably going to be less scared about the game now. Well, yeah, because I've I've sort of seen what's what's going on. We did get some good footage though of Kujo freaking out. So, uh, like this bit right here. All right, unless you are fear farting. That is not me fear, fear farting. Fear farts a real thing. I know fear farts are a real thing. I experienced them myself. <laughs> yeah, you see that? That was awesome. There may not be much. I know there's at least one point where you're just like. <gasps> And that was about it. Oh, uh, I forgot that was... You forgot that the Pac-Man, yeah, like... I... So the game is, is actually... I forgot that Pac-Man was locked in a world of the same hallways, the <laughs> same no maze. There is no escape. There is no escape. You will live here till eternity has passed. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so mechanics-wise, uh, I mean, like we start out being we, we start out being very similar to Pac-Man, right? Yeah. Like it's sort of Pac-Man easy um, because there's only one ghost, right? And like, it's it's very tough because we don't see any of the dots that Pac-Man can't see. Right, um, and I feel like that's the main uh, focal point for that first level is getting you used to the fact that you will not be able mm -hmm. to see everything else in the level, and not knowing where that those ghosts are uh, is quite scary and it's I, it's hard enough too to where um you know i could have died multiple times during oh, yeah. that um in fact i had my little moments of panic where i was like oh god um <laughs> what i also oh, really boy. like about how they did the oh, site oh, oh, there we okay. go death number one not the pumpkin ghost um what i really like what they did with the sight lines is that it's not like a full blocky whatever like if you're just coming around the corner you can start to see the path be illuminated which i really do appreciate i think mm -hmm. that's really cool um i do like that uh as you guys have seen um blue ghost behaves like a standard ghost the main thing with him is that you, you can't see where he is just like all the other ones he has standard movement sometimes his colors kind of get a little weird the red one is where things can get interesting this is where a new design element is revealed still having that consistent problem of not being able to see what pac-man can't see his thing is that if you are in his sight lines he, he freaks out for a second and then charges you at like 300 percent movement all right, I'm already doing worse than my first playthrough. <laughs> um, so that sort of sets the tone for what's going to happen in the later levels. There are going to be new ghosts with new uh, approaches to how they behave in the game. Um, but something else that also is really kind of interesting is that if you look at the score, lives, and, and level or whatever, there, there are words that will show up, like where it says level 2, the word screamy, I think. Yeah, screamy. Yeah, it, it changes. Showing up. It changes per level too. Yeah. actually. Um, I, so I wonder if that's their method of introducing, the, if, of naming the new ghost that you're interacting oh, with. Oh, that's a really good question, actually, because it's it's hard to notice that while you're playing, right? Because yeah. you're focused on the gameplay and you don't want to die. Um, but I noticed that I think by the time I started level three and my personal playthrough, and uh, I was like, what is, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Um, so that's kind of cool, and it's a really fun way of kind of like adding that like cryptic, uh, 
horror to the game too, right? Like it's like it leaves the player feeling confused and uh, uncertain about what's going on. Yeah, definitely. Um, so level three, we're introduced to a new ghost, which is basically the the uh, Slender Man mechanic. Slender Man. Uh, where basically he pops up at random times, and if we're not careful, we'll run into him and die. Uh, ooh. Um, but it's hard to predict when he's going to pop up anywhere, right? Yeah. Um, and the fear there is... is <sighs> the fear there is caused basically from just um, never knowing when to expect him, right? And then when he's suddenly there, it's, you know, terrifying. I find it really weird that the death animation really varies. It changes almost every time, right? I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, and that's sort of their method of introducing jump scares, right? Um, mm -hmm. Where, like... Um, you know, you don't know when you die what's gonna happen, so it... Right. Like, occasionally it's just nothing, right? It's just, oh boy. Oh, it got me! Like, th that's a good example, right? Like... You don't know what to expect, so um, right. occasionally you'll throw something like a jump scare, and sometimes it'll just be oh. like a normal death. What's funny is the name that's popping up right now, Slendy. Mm -hmm. So you called it. His name was Slendy. Yeah, so he's Slenderman. He, he's, he's probably inspired by Slenderman. That's really cool. <sighs> okay, we're gonna cut back to the end of level three, so. Pause. All right, and we're back, and we just made an observation about Slendy. As long as he is visible, all sound shuts off. Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of cool. It's really unnerving. Oh. oh. Do you notice the uh, the left side of the screen? How it like kind of like overlaps the. Maybe that's just like the CRT uh, effect. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so this is level four now. Um, oh, I remember who's introduced here. Okay. Um, old one? Are you gonna disappear? No? Right. You have to. Break oh, the line he of sight. only disappears. Oh, he disappears when you change line of sight. What? So, old one, I. Is that a Cthulhu themed ghost? Yep. Well, not Cthulhu necessarily, but Lovecraftian. That's um, pretty awesome. Oh, it's Because old ones. Through. Yeah, old ones ref are, are a more general H.P. Lovecraft uh, yeah. concoction. Ooh, but its Whoa. its mechanic is... Oh, jeez. Oh. Its mechanic is that it goes through walls. Um, and he just kind of follows you forever. Oh. oh. Jeez. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why that was the sound of choice for me I, to be scared. I am in a much better position, oh. though. How, oh. many, how many levels are there? Uh, six? I'm not totally sure, because when I beat the game, it didn't feel like I won. <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, so, when we get to that point in this playthrough, um, different things might happen, and I... Mm -hmm. it, it'll be very difficult to tell whether or not we, we won, but... Um, I'm still in a much better position, though, this playthrough, because I have five lives left, and, uh... I'm probably only going to die one or two more times at this point. Okay. And uh, I think level five is actually a bit easier, even though it's crazier. Um, yeah. You'll see. This is, like, Ugh. whoa. Whoa. Jeez, you also... Oh! So, oh, no, it's creepy. so the red guy, I've noticed that as the levels progress, his he has this little like charge, right? Mm. Charge up to his charge, where he has to see you for long enough before he bolts toward you. Mm. Um, and as the levels progress, he does it a lot sooner. Um, I've also noticed. Oh, oh. Did I, oh, I got it. Yes. I've also noticed that the blue guy moves faster. Okay. Okay. So here we are, level five. I think. Uh, did it crash? It might have crashed. As long as he doesn't creep around. Okay. Oh. oh okay. Look, it's good. It's. Oh. It's oh. good. It's, I got it. All right, level five. Okay. Yeah, boy. 
Um, Here we go. So all the same, guys. Um, but now the level is degenerating. So. So we are freeform Pac-Man, basically. Yes. Yeah, shit gets kind of crazy. Wow, wow. It's super strange playing Pac-Man when you can miss dots simply because you're not aligned with them. That's... Oh, that's weird. Right? Right? This it's, was the thing I that like, really blew my mind. I really like that they did not change the sight lines. Yeah, I know, right? It, it makes perfect sense why, too. It, it's supposed to feel like the game is corrupting and that it's just kind of like breaking down and, you know, the the pre-existing mechanics are still there, right? Yeah. Um, so, I no, I, I agree. I really, really like this. Um, of course... What the hell was going on with Red? Why did it look bigger? I don't know, man. Yeah, like a Jabba the Hutt tail thing wrapping around him. At the same time, though, I do kind of think that this, like, level 5, I think it actually is a bit easier because of this. Yeah. Um, because the other ghosts, they still follow the same sightline rules, and it's also easier to dodge the old one. Um, whoop! I say as I almost get killed by him. The main disadvantage here is that it actually becomes a lot easier to get lost and to not know where dots yeah. are. Um, or to accidentally miss them, what right? What the hell was that? Shit. That was like a... Is that another new one? I don't know. Uh, oh, it's just question marks. It's... Yeah. It was like a dark green. Really? I okay. Like... I can't see color too well, so it's... Okay. I think that was it. Level six. See what I mean? It was kind of a little bit easier. Okay. Here's where shit starts really getting crazy. Notice also that the chomping sound is also a little yeah. different. What? Yup! Some crazy shit is going down in uh, Pac-Man Town. It gets louder and quieter and louder and quieter. What the hell does that mean? It means he's coming straight for me. Uh, I don't know where he is. Oh. Oh, no. What the fuck is going on? We gotta, we gotta get out, Cujo. We got, we gotta get out. How do, how do we get out? Oh. We gotta get out, could you? Uh, we Are don't you have... a ghost? Right know. now? Am I? Maybe I am. Or are you the gray Pac-Man? I don't know. Cause that Pac-Man was yellow, wasn't it? Yeah. So what's... What's really happening here? I don't... Maybe we don't gotta get out. Maybe we gotta find Pac-Man. Maybe we gotta... Why is he running away? Oh... Maybe I gotta... Oh... Where'd he go? This got really weird. Come on, Pac-Man. As if it wasn't already. So, it's super clever, right? I think it, it's like the transition from you being Pac-Man to you becoming a ghost because you die. Oh, that's weird. So then that begs the question, are the ghosts old Pac-Mans that have been previously dead or oh. previously alive? Or could it be the player? Yeah, it could be. It's... I, it, when this happened, it, it blew my mind. Oh, that's the... Oh, that's the... Uh, so you're in the middle now. No, that was that, that connecting point. Yeah. The, in the center of the... That's what I meant. Yeah. So it, it took me a while to figure this out, to realize that you were a ghost and that you actually needed to find Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. For a while, I was playing it as if... Um, I was still Pac-Man and running away from that like weird ghost Pac-Man. Yeah. And I was like, oh god, I hear Pac-Man, I hear the sounds, I gotta run. Mm. And then I realized there's no escape. There's there's no I'm not collecting the pellets. Yeah. We can actually turn around and see. The pellets are still there. It's not they're not going Interesting. away. 
It's like you use the pellets as a way of figuring out where Pac-Man is. Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't know if he picks them up either, um, th which begs the question, if he does pick them all up, what happens? Huh. But I know what happens when we catch Pac-Man for the third time. Oh, yay. <laughs> now we just gotta find him. Uh, what was I gonna say? Design. Oh! So, I think the original concept for this game probably started with, um the that the idea of Pac-Man the player cannot see what Pac-Man does not damn oh, no fuck ah, why are you, ah, are you gotcha a drunk ghost is that it we killed Pac-Man what else is left All right. <laughs> that, uh, that got weird. See why I wanted to play this game? Yeah. And see why I was like, I think I found the end? No, that's fair. And it doesn't do anything else. Nope, this is it. We can hit buttons and stuff and nothing will happen. Until it ah! crashes, apparently. Um, so yeah, that was that Weird. was Pac-Man EXE. Um, huh. I don't know if there's any correct way of pronouncing the game because it's got the weird like characters that glitch out and stuff, you know. Um, but I, I really like this game. I think the high concept started with you know Pac-Man, <laughs> yeah, with Pac-Man just being like, or with the the high concept being player can only see what Pac-Man sees, right? Um, and that was probably before it even became a horror game. Um, so, I think the natural progression from there is, right, like, if the player can only see what Pac-Man sees, obviously we make a horror game out of that, because yeah, exactly. it's already terrifying. Ghosts can be around any corner. Yep. Um, and I've seen many Pac-Man clone in my day, and we've actually played some pretty good ones, not on the show, because they never made it on because of audio issues, but, um... That damn... Oh. But I really like this one, and I, there this are some other... Really, it really... Uh, like, it's weird having the, um, the walls of the level kind of continue to do weird things and, like, continue to change. And, like, glitch out. Weirdly enough, it actually made it seem more well-rounded and it made it mm -hmm. work a lot more than, in my opinion, normal Pac-Man. I can't, I can't focus on normal Pac-Man because it's like, uh, those lines of the levels, like, we've burned into my eyes. But the way that the, everything was presented here it was all uniform. It mm -hmm. all had the same theme, it had the same concept, and I think that was a really smart thing to do for this. Yeah, I, I really I really thought that they did a great job polishing this game. Like, sound effects were gorgeous, Yeah. because they were basically, you know, degenerated versions of the classic Pac-Man sounds. The art was kind of the same thing, but yeah. the, like the glitchiness to it. Absolutely, and I really do like that it almost went off of the found footage sort of approach to a video game, mm -hmm. you know, because it, the idea was yeah. that this was found and somewhere. It's, I mean, that's that's been a pretty popular thing with a lot of horror games, or at least indie horror games, the, at least the little ones like this, right? I mean, Amnesia obviously wasn't marketed that way, because that wouldn't make sense. Right. Um, but that's been a little popular lately, and I, I appreciate right. it. I think it, it gives think it some that, kind of charm. I think that genre, that found footage thing, actually sprung from Paranormal Activity. Oh, you think so? Yeah, absolutely. Because that movie, that movie made a lot of money, and there's a reason that they're yeah. still rolling out with a whole bunch more, is because that approach. Well, technically, if when I get that technical Blair Witch Project, technically started that whole thing. Okay, no, I mean yeah. that's that's a good comparison. And I think if they were inspired by anything, it'd yeah. be something like Paranormal Activity. Yeah. Or so, not, no, I, uh, not Paranormal Activity. Uh, Blair Witch Project. Wow. I'm sorry. Jeez. You okay? Just quit drinking. Um, I love horror games and horror movies or whatever where there's no explanation as to why oh, I love happening. it. I think that is the weirdest and creepiest thing. The reason it, makes, I, it makes you think and you're like, yeah, I'm afraid to go reason, outside. The reason I liked the first Paranormal Activity was that there was no real clear this is what the demon is. This is what it is. You I, know, as, they, as much as I'll shit on those movies, I'll agree with you there. Yeah. And like, I, the first was good. I really liked the second one because they 
whatever. That's delving into others. Yeah, this, this is anyway, getting off topic. Um, I, I like that they took that approach with this. I like that you... There's no explanation as to what the hell is going on. Especially um, especially the end. I think it's absolutely yeah. important that, that they never specified that you became a ghost. Um, and obviously that's part of the, the, the like... The puzzle to it, right? Like, you have to figure out that, hey, I don't actually have to run from Pac-Man, I have to kill him. Um, and I think, like, not only gameplay-wise, that makes that work really well, because you still are horrified of, of Pac-Man initially until you realize what the actual answer is, um, but thematically, even after the first time I played it, I was still like, I don't really understand what just happened to me. I just... And it was during this playthrough, I was like, wait, I am the ghost. I must continue the cycle. I just had a realization. You had to catch him three times, right? He had three lives. He started with three it lives. Was it was a new cycle. level. Of the new cycle. And you were the blue ghost. I was the blue That's ghost. crazy. <laughs> and hey, the blue ghost mimicked your uh, your shitty movement controls of just going down random hallways and then coming back around. It's true. <laughs> it's definitely true. Um, so anyway, check out the game. We have a link for it in the description. And uh, I mean, it's on itch.io, so it's free too, uh, or at least uh, free for now. Um, so definitely check it out and let the developer know what you thought. And if you have other f games like this that you'd like us to check out, let us know, please, because we love stuff like this. Seriously, please. Kujo was absolutely terrified when I brought this well, up to him, but, but well, it was it was worth it, right? Because I saw Pac-Man horror, and I was like, "Why are you putting in a horror game? I hate you right now." <laughs> So, yeah, um, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I thought this was really cool. It was presented in a very paranormal activity sort of way, and I like it. Well cool. done, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more GDPG stuff, and, uh, well, we'll see you in the archives. Peace. Out Dicks. of memory. Ooh. Thank you, Satan. Out of memory. <laughs>